him. I want to watch the, the news. Are you making are you making headway at least? This is the news. Mac McGob, it's time for the only news that matters. And Wolfgang Van Halen looked back at some of the criticism he was met with upon joining Van Halen and said that he thought he was on good terms with David Lee Roth until the vocalist made a series of uh, bad videos about him. And the 33-year-old musician that we all still call a kid has gone a long way from being the offspring of rock and roll's royalty to becoming a rock icon himself. Has he really? And not all of it uh, was pleasant. Eddie Van Halen's decision to recruit Wolfgang in bassist Michael Anthony's uh, part in 2006 was met with backlash from the some from some fans. While Wolfie's solo career in 2006 was met with backlash from some fans, while Wolf's solo career, especially following his father's untimely passing in 2020, was mired by requests to keep performing the late Guitar Hero's music. An ironically accusation that he's riding on his father's coattails is in equal measure. With two Mammoth WVH albums under his belt, however, Wolfgang has become a mainstay in the contemporary rock scene in his own right, while refusing to play Van Halen, regularly providing his career with a basis of rock-solid integrity. In a new interview with uh, WTF with Mark Moran podcast, Wolfgang said that he tried to avoid the negativity after joining Van Halen as a teen because it was only in a really dedicated spaces back in the day. Like message boards, stuff like that. I was just having a good time enjoying my newly sober dad and jamming with my family and having a wonderful time. And it was just this wonderful, happy, joyous thing until it went public. And then it was like, yeah, I can see why people would want to hate me. Ask whether the criticism was spurred by the departure of Anthony, Wolf said, yeah, but that's between my dad and him. I was just there to make, you know, sure my dad stayed sober and he, what, you know, on the path he was on. And me being there for him and keeping the train moving was my full intent. I would make the set list and everything. I started putting in B-sides that I don't think Van Halen ever played back in the day. One song for sure, Dirty Movies. I just wanted to give the fans something because why can't we just make music and have a good time? Even so, Michael Anthony and Wolfgang Van Halen remained on good terms with zero bad blood between them. The older musician recently noted how there was a lot of closure when he attended a Mammoth WVH show at the House of Blues in Las Vegas in 2013. He said, we sat and talked and there was a lot of discussion for me there. Valerie Bertinelli was there, his mom. So... It was a great night. Besides the fact that Wolf is a great guy, great musician, his band kicks ass. But yeah, so at least we were able to do that. Anthony uh, similarly noted that he didn't think that Eddie Van Halen had been grooming his son for the job before and that he understood young Wolfgang's eagerness to play with his father. Uh, elsewhere in the new interview, Wolfgang also touched upon his relationship with another Van Halen member, David Lee Roth. Asked whether he gets along with the temperamental singer, he said, Not really. Until recently, I thought we were on good terms, and he made a couple of YouTube videos about me. 
about how much he doesn't like me, which was like, okay, cool. He basically just said a bunch of stuff that was true to him. It doesn't matter if it's true because the people that are going to listen to it will believe it and use it, you know, to hate me anyway. So you just got to move forward. Yeah, I listened to this whole interview and man, it was pretty gut wrenching when he was talking about what his dad went through in the final years and you know, all that stuff. But man, I want to touch upon David Lee Roth, man. You know, I think this whole thing with Wolfgang was really uncalled for, but I really don't think David Lee Roth is really in his right mind. I think he's slowly getting, like, totally insane. I hope I'm wrong. I hope he doesn't get uh, dementia or Alzheimer or that. I wouldn't wish that on Sammy Hagar. But my point is that the things that Dave said about Wolfgang were messed up. I mean, beyond messed up. And I can't help but think of Eddie Van Halen. You know, how Eddie Van Halen would hate, you know, hearing Dave say such things about his son. You know, and I think the worst thing Dave said, he said a lot of shitty things. But I think the worst thing he said out of all of it was how uh, Mammoth WVH ain't selling. It's not doing well. And this and that. It's kind of like, man, even if it's not doing well, I mean, that's bad press, man, to tell everybody. Hey, you know that band Wolfie's in? It's failing. It's bombing, you know? It's heartbreaking to hear Dave say that about young Wolfgang. I mean, I know by the comments I've gotten from many stories I've done on Wolfgang, there's a lot of haters out there. There's a lot of people that just hate on Wolfgang. And maybe they're right. Maybe their opinions are right. But the way I look at it, man, I'm not saying I'm right or wrong, but he doesn't seem like a bad person, man. He doesn't seem like a bad 33-year-old kid, you know? He tells it as it is, and, uh, but, I mean, he talked about, what was it that he said about Dave that triggered Dave? Oh, yeah, that Dave was uh, responsible for a different kind of truth, not being on Spotify, which it is now, by the way. And also, he didn't actually say Dave Lee Roth, but he did mention one person was responsible for the tribute to his dad to never happen. So I think that's what triggered Dave to attack Wolfgang. As far as Mammoth WVH, I've said this before, it, it does nothing for me. There were a couple songs on both albums that I like a lot. And I actually purchased both albums just out of respect to Edward. You know, but even though, I mean, I liked some of the songs. That's really why I bought it. But for the most part, that music does nothing for me. It's, you know, it's like that, you know, the contemporary stuff. You know, it's like what you'd expect from rock radio today. And uh, hopefully it'll catch on, man. All I know is that I saw Wolfgang live and it was a, a last minute thing. I wasn't going to go. Then my friend called me saying, yeah, I got a, uh, a free ticket to see Wolfgang, but man, my car's messed up, blah, blah, blah. Sunday night, I was like, you know what, dude? I'll take you. I'll go see Wolfgang. Well, you know, out of respect. And I was completely blown away by his performance. I loved it. I didn't mind the songs either live. It was like a... It was just badass. It was a really good show. And, you know, seeing him doing those solos and stuff, he was amazing. I thought he was amazing. I think uh, his albums doesn't his albums don't do him justice, you know. So hopefully he will impress a lot of people out there like he impressed me. You know, he's going to be playing with Metallica and stadiums again. So hopefully that will take off. I wish him the best, man. And I think it's messed up how Dave, like, pretty much shit on his career, man. That's not cool, Dave. And Eddie would definitely hate it. So I don't know what the hell Dave's thinking, man. I'm a huge Dave fan, man. That's Six Pack in the 80s. And I love A Different Kind of Truth. And I'm always, like, talking about how he rules and Sammy sucks, which I still think that. But at the same time, I'm not going to defend this guy, man. 
when he does bonehead stuff like this. You know, I think he should shut the fuck up, actually, you know, about the whole thing. But uh, what are you going to do, man? He's got a platform and people are going to believe his bullshit. If it is bullshit. I'm not saying it is or not, you know, because of all the other stuff he said about Wolfie. But I still think it's lame, you know. Wolfgang said some little remarks that weren't really bashing the guy, but he told the truth. Dave doesn't like the album. He doesn't want it on Spotify. Well, now it's on Spotify. So maybe if Wolfie didn't say nothing, Dave wouldn't have said nothing. But then again, I mean, David Lee Roth, back in the day, I mean, nobody was better. He was the greatest front man I ever saw in my life. And yes, his ego's huge. His ego's responsible for Vangina. A lot of people are like, why don't you blame Eddie for Sammy? Which I always do, but sometimes I don't mention it in a video because it's Eddie's fault as well. That people see that video and think I never think that. But I also say Dave's ego. It was Dave's ego and Eddie Van Halen that is responsible for Vangina. And with that huge ego to see his kid... Eddie's kid out there touring, doing his thing, while Dave is not performing anymore, I'm sure kind of rubs him the wrong way because of that huge, dangerous ego of his. What do you all think? Leave it in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching The Only News That Matters. And uh, leave your comments below, like I said. What do you think of this whole thing? I know a lot of you hate Wolfie. Eh, express your hate. I don't agree with it. But I do agree in free speech and you're able to say whatever the hell you want as long as you don't attack me because if you attack me, you're a pickle whistler and I gotta send you to the cornfield like the Twilight Zone. And please, did I tell you to subscribe to my channel? If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. Ring that little notification bell. I would really appreciate that. And like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack them a gob. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu to you ladies of Spain. For we've received orders for to sail back to Boston. And so never more shall we see you again. <laughs>